Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Let's Play. We are doing a bow only revengeance mode calamity playthrough. The first thing I wanted to do today was head over to the underground desert so that we can find the sunken sea biome. There's a bow we can get from the vendor in the sunken sea. And so let's go ahead and see if we can find that. So here we are at the desert base. I'll just set the spawn just in case. I don't think we're going to have any risk here. But we've already explored so much of this area. It's going to be very easy to find our way to the sunken sea. Wow, that's a lot of desert fossils. Yeah, vein miner on desert fossil is awesome. Here we go. <laughs> it's a whole different game down here now that we've got upgraded items. Nothing stands a chance. Feels good to not be afraid in this biome anymore. Ooh, we found a desert shrine. It was encased in desert fossil all the way around it. Okay, let's see what we got. It says that weapons fire unique projectiles based on the damage type they have. So let's see what that does. We'll put that on instead of our worm scarf. Whoa. It makes a cool and loud noise. But I don't think it's doing much. Yeah, so it's shooting like a little lightning bolt. Interesting. Wow, I'm shooting so much stuff out of this weapon now. I'm not sure if I'm really all that interested in using it. I think it could be really cool for like a melee weapon if, if it made every melee weapon shoot something. All right, for now, I think I'm going to just go with my worm scarf since I don't really like that loud noise and it doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. Ooh, I think we see the, the new biomes right below us. So I'm going to equip this ocean crest that will give me underwater breathing. That way we don't have to worry. But I've always wanted there to be more to the ocean in the game. And there really isn't the space, which is why I've never... Like, the Abyss, I think, is a great addition, but, like, just the actual ocean. I've always wanted there to be more. But this really gives you that option to explore more of this sort of ocean biome in a place that's usually not utilized at all. Ooh, I think we just found one of the clams. These break from attacks. That's much easier. I thought we had to mine them. Oh, like, I think... We're looking for not just a clam, but a giant clam. Once when we kill a giant clam, it unlocks a new NPC, and that NPC sells a cool bow. So I wanted to unlock it. It's probably not going to be an upgrade over this, um, what is this bow called? The Gale Force Bow? Because the Gale Force Bow is just incredibly strong, so I doubt it's going to be an upgrade. But still, I want to collect all the bows I can in the game just to try out, especially the modded ones. I really want to get all the modded bows, try all those out. Ooh, there's the giant clam. And we got plenty of space to fight them, so this is good. Ouch. <laughs> okay. So that's a simple attack pattern. As long as you've got some space, it's easy to dodge once when you know what it's doing. And we found... I think we found an accessory. Periodically rains down prism shards. Nice. So I think this over here seems to be like a material inside of this big orb. So I kind of want to mine down and see if we can mine it yet. 
So we just added that to vein miner. And we're gonna mine up all this sea prism here. I don't really know what it's all used for, but might as well get it if we can. And I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this biome. I, I don't know of anything else we need to do, and we've got plenty of the materials. Oh, the NPC already spawned. It's a mermaid or a merman. And let's see, yes, we can buy it. It's the shell shooter. So let's put that in our inventory and sell him a few of the things we don't need. Whoa. <laughs> this thing shoots such slow projectiles. We're gonna have to do it outside of the water. And it seems like we've got another one of the bosses that spawned. So maybe, oh, it's right down here. So let's go ahead and just kill it because we might as well. And we're right by this big open area anyways, so that'll be easy. Ooh, we got another accessory. I wish that these accessories would craft into something better, you know what I mean? Because as a single accessory that you get early on, it's kind of useless. Um, it emits a light around you and enemies are slowed down. So it's like, it would be nice if all of the underwater accessories would combine into one powerful one. But they always are adding on, so they may switch that up in the, later on. So I'll just keep these just in case. Okay, so this uh, shell shooter bow shoots a really slow projectile, but it seems to do a ton of damage. If if I got this really early on in the game, this is this would actually be really good, and it pierces. Wow, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Even at this point in the game, I think you can get this right after the Desert Scourge, which if I got it right after the Desert Scourge, it would be really powerful. I might even just reforge it right now. This might be a good item to have in the dungeon when there's tons of enemies stacked on each other. I can just shoot this right into the middle of them and it will pierce through all of them. So we've arrived at the dungeon and it's time to jump right in and get some good loot. So I'm not even gonna bother looking for a water bolt because I don't need them and it kind of slows me down a little bit looking for those. Ooh, a treasure chest. Already got a gold key. Excellent. So I like to go through the whole dungeon and try to place as many torches as I can in pre-hard mode. That just makes it so much easier when I'm in hard mode to be able to handle the dungeon with enough light. And I also like to get all the water torches or the water candles because then that makes hard mode easier as well. Maramasa. Ooh, and we found the mechanic already. Nice. Break this trap right here. Oh, but I did find a water bolt, so that's good. And, ooh, yes, a cobalt shield. That's the main item I'm looking for. That and the shadow key. Okay, two chests, but we don't have keys for these yet, so we'll just keep killing some mobs. Oh, and an alchemy station. Excellent. So it looks like we're already getting pretty full on our items. One thing I can do, though, is summon my fairy merchant. So we will summon her, put on auto pause, and do some selling so we don't have to waste the gold from this stuff we're finding. 
Okay, so we can shop and just sell some stuff really quick. Ooh, another gold key. Take this candle as well. Oh, and I see a trap right here. Break that. Oh, we got a shinobi blade. What's that? Shinobi blade. Throws a fast blade that summons healing orbs when it kills enemies. Wow, that's a pretty cool rogue item. There we go, we just got a shadow key from this chest. And that is the main thing we need from this. The shield and the shadow key. I think we'll just finish exploring real quick, use up our last few keys. This weapon is so stinking powerful. <laughs> it's, it feels like it's a hard mode weapon, to be honest. Okay, well I think that's all we're going to get from the dungeon, so let's head back. And of course a dungeon slime spawned right as I was porting back, but that's okay. We'll put away all of our stuff that we can. So I've sorted through my inventory and prepared a bunch of stuff to craft. In fact, I think I'm also going to just go ahead and put away my bee's knees bow because I haven't really used it and I just really like the gale force bow and I like that it's auto attack so that's nice but we can craft a bunch of stuff here so the first thing we can craft is a mobile safe and what that does is it summons a floating safe just like the floating pig and then we can craft a mobile piggy bank which does the same thing and we can combine our fairy merchant mobile safe and mobile pig into a mobile pig safe which summons all three of them all around you so we'll go ahead and favorite that we can put away our money trough now the other thing we want to craft is wings okay here's the wings so we'll craft one of those arcane so we'll re-roll that as well Okay, menacing, that'll work. And we can switch that out for our scarf. Yes, we've got wings. It feels like we're already in hard mode. And I think these wings look really cool too. They match my bow, I like it. So I'm gonna also put away this balloon because I don't like holding a balloon, it just looks silly. Let's see how, how far we can fly with these wings. Okay, well, it's not really that good of flight time. So we may actually switch back to the scarf for some of the boss fights and whatnot. But I think they're still fun to craft because pre-hard mode wings is just such a cool novelty. We need an um, obsidian skin potion, which we should be able to get from this lady. Grab two of those. And that should make getting hellstone much easier. I don't know if this... Yeah, it vein mines obsidian. <laughs> So we will get that really quick. So I'm just going to use my obsidian skin right now, and we will just jump down this lava. Well, we're in the underworld. We got our obsidian potion and some vein miner, so we are set. Although we're taking some damage from these mobs. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Weapon! It was a huge weapon. Um, I'm gonna have to check that out in just a little bit. I don't have auto pause on, so I really wanna get as much of this ore as we can. So my first few playthroughs, I didn't know about this trick of using this potion. <laughs> and now that I do, it's just such an improved experience. It, with vein miner and obsidian potions, it's like so fast to get this. It's great. And then you add our drill on top of it, and that drill can help us get around. But it can't actually mine hellstone. That's good. So I was wondering if the drill would allow you to completely bypass certain parts of the game 
by allowing you to mine hellstone like the reaver shark, but it actually can't, so that's good. Oh yeah, I wanted to see earlier, we got this oath sword. Auto swinging, very cool. Okay, nothing down here. Forceful Sun Fury. Okay, that's good. Not the best, but we'll keep going. Ooh, another one right here. And we got our Obsidian Rose. Yes, here we go. We got the Hellwing bow. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. I think we're good now for the Underworld. Go ahead and just loot these last things. And I've got 42 seconds left. So I'll grab a little bit more Hellstone. Just because we can and it's fun. And then we're going to go head up and we can do some crafting. Perfect. Two potions was just enough. Put away all this. So I want to see, the Hellwing Bow can actually be upgraded early hard mode with Essence of Sunlight and turn into the Flare Wing Bow. So I'm really excited to see what that does. I don't think I've ever used it or ever seen it. And then we can replace this forge with a Hell Forge. And let's sell some of our stuff real quick. With our Hellstone, let's go ahead and craft the next pickaxe, Molten Pickaxe right there. And then we need to craft Molten Fury. And I think the last thing we need is an Obsidian Skull, which we can combine with our shield over here and get an Obsidian Shield. So Molten Fury what I'm looking to do is create the next bow, which combines the Demon Bow, Bee's Knees, Molten Fury, and Purified Gel, which means we will need to defeat the Slime God in order to craft this bow, the Lunarian Bow. So I don't think I'm going to actually use Molten Fury, but I'm going to need it so I can craft that one. So I'll go ahead and just put that away right here, and we'll swap out the pickaxe, since we got a better one. There we go, warding. That'll work. And I may put that on over my wings for now because I don't think the wings are really going to be that useful. I think that'll be where we end our episode for today. We unlocked the NPC for the ocean and got this cool new piercing bow that shoots these spikes. We also got our molten pickaxe. So we still need to kill Krabulon, which will be super easy. Um, we also have the Old Ones army, which we may end up having a chance to defeat as well. I'm not sure. We can try that out. We've got the NPC for it, and then the Slime God. So that'll be some of the stuff we'll be taking on next episode, preparing for hard mode. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you next time.